no, back it up now. Back it up now. I'm on the loose. Hold on. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Power Report. I'm Lamar. All right, so y'all know I have to throw that stripper in there for all the ladies watching. Shout out to all the beautiful ladies watching right now. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't expect to do another Wendy Williams video anytime soon, but a breath of fresh air was in the studio today, and that freshness was Wendy Williams. Well, Wendy Williams took to her show today, and she spilled some cryptic tea and was throwing some hidden shade <laughs> at Kevin and his mistress. She was basically saying, I mean, Wendy had to say something after the internet was serving us juicy ass grapes about her husband and their divorce over the last week. <laughs> Wendy was overly excited on the show today and definitely wanted everyone to know that she was single and ready to mingle. Wendy gave an update about her status at the Sober House, her commitment to the show, and life after her divorce. Go ahead and take a look. My business is your business. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> my business is your business. I can tell you this. The night before, I had like a three hour dinner at Tao with my sister. She's up from Miami, you know, talking and powwowing with me. Yeah, yeah, not, not all. It's always nice to spend time with your sister. They correct some of the things that you do wrong and they help you when you're not doing enough and they tell you how to do it. You know what I mean? I'm moving out of Sober House in just a few days, you know? It'll be Wendy on her own. I know, I know. Well, I have to tell you, I have to tell you, you, you know I've been dealing with issues with addiction, alcoholism, and I have a whole new life that I plan for myself and my son. And Believe me, you. When you lay in a room with no TV and four gray walls all day, and no telephone at your all ready, and you lay there and you think about your life, this is my life at the sober house. It's one of the best things, honestly, that could have ever happened to me. Because, you know, when you think about your life, you think about, you know, how you've been delivering to the world, especially here on the show. You know, it's no secret, we're friends, and sometimes you don't like me. But either way, thank you for watching every day. But, you know, um, you know, you wear a different mask when you're out here. You, everybody has, including you, whether you're a secretary or a school teacher or whatever, everybody has things in their life that they're embarrassed to share with the world. Yeah or they're frightened to share with the world, or they're not ready to share with the world. And addressing my uh, sobriety, my addiction head on, has really helped me sort out every single compartment of my life. That's all. I have a commitment to me and my son to come out of here better, stronger, and faster than ever. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, I will still commit, because you'll forget about my business any moment now. Um, and, then, and then I commit that the motto of this show will always be, their business is our business. That's right. That's right, Norman. That's right. Wendy could talk that yakety yak about her being a hot topic is kind of funny. No, it's not. And I bet it's not funny to her son either. I know that's just her way of dealing with the constant embarrassment in the public eye. It's just her still hiding behind a mask, you know? And I knew she was planning something when she came back from her hiatus back in March. You know, a person can't have that much time alone in isolation and not come out with a plan. And you know what? Wendy, she could have all y'all fooled, but she don't have me fooled, you know? I know. Her ass was taking targeting lessons while she was out on her sober house field trip in the woods. Here's the thing I discovered. By the way, this is what I was sleeping in. This right here. This is, this is, this is the um, campfire. We were roasting marshmallows. None of the girls are there. They're around. Um, I didn't really shoot that gun. Like, I can talk a good gun game, but I had it rested on my shoulder. It was a 22, by the way. A 22. Um, I didn't, sh you know, God bless the animals. I didn't shoot any, I sh take the picture and let me put this down. 
I'm not judging you if you like guns. Y'all know Wendy is a smart and calculating individual. She didn't put that gun down. She most likely fired off a few rounds. That was a subliminal warning to Kevin, Serena, and that baby to not come over there with that bull crap because she'll pop a few rounds in Kevin and his side piece. <laughs> because everyone knows Kevin is said to be a dangerous man. Even Charlemagne has said it. Wendy ain't playing no games after this whole, this whole sober house exit. She's about to relocate to New York and live her best life. When I'm willing to bet after this costly divorce, the show will either go on for a few more years or she'll do something in the podcast and radio world. However, the show is a big cash cow for the network, so it'll probably stay. Has Wendy improved or is it just me? And do you think Wendy was actually out taking shooting lessons while she was out on her damn sober house field trip in the woods in case Kevin and Serena Bay come around with the drama? <laughs> Y'all know all this shade lately Wendy's been throwing is to let Kevin know about her gun training and to let him know. So, pow pow! I'm a straight shooter. I don't I fuck mean, with no. you. You little stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. Oh man, we about to get this party started. If you made it this far in the video, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe, like, and that notification bell. It ain't a party until you subscribe. I love you for watching and I'll see that beautiful face in the next one.